Hello everyone, I'm Matteo Romagnoli, a computer science student at the University of Cameri. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you a ThinksBoard extension that we develop within the Processes and Services Laboratory to facilitate 3D simulations of cyber physical systems. A cyber physical system is a system that combines physical and digital components and our goal was to enable the creation of 3D simulations of cyber physical system, such as a smart classroom that includes both physical and digital elements, like IoT sensors for presence detection. In this video, I will explain how our extension works and how it can be used to create a 3D simulation of a cyber physical system. ThinkSport is an open source IoT platform that allows users to connect and manage IoT devices, collect and analyze data from them, and create dashboards and reports to visualize that data. With ThinkSport, we can create custom rules and workflows to automate tasks and trigger actions based on data coming from the IoT devices. ThinkSport provides widgets that are additional UI modules that can be easily integrated into any dashboard created in ThinkSport, providing end-user functions such as data visualization, remote device control, alarms management and display of static custom HTML content. The platform also allows for the deployment and integration of customized widgets that add functionalities behind those provided by default. One of the key benefits of ThinksBoard is its scalability. It can handle thousands of devices and millions of messages, making it suitable for large-scale IoT deployments. Additionally, ThinksBoard is highly customizable with a flexible data model and a wide range of APIs and integrations. The 3D simulation widget that we developed allows a simulation designer with some programming skills, especially with some knowledge of the 3JS and the Canon ES libraries, to design a 3D scene and add digital entities. After defining the digital entities and the root chains representing the digital device's behavior, the designer selects the digital devices and the simulated digital devices he wants to include in a simulation. This is done to avoid the simulated telemetries to override real telemetries from the physical world. The simulated digital devices and the simulation widget that runs the simulation exchange data using a communication bus. The simulation generates simulated events for instance, if we consider an IoT device, an event could be a physical change. The simulated events are published on the communication bus and received by the corresponding simulated digital device, which updates its attributes. If a root chain that predicates on that attribute is available, then the root chain fires and the simulated behavior of the simulated digital device starts. During the execution of the rule chain, telemetries associated with the simulated digital device might be updated. These updated telemetries are then published on the virtual bus and received by the simulation widget, which reflects the updates in the simulated environment. Now I will guide you in a simple demonstration. In particular, we use the ThinkSport and the 3D simulation to simulate a smart classroom scenario inspired by the SAFE project, which involves smart furniture equipped with peer devices for the detection of people in case of a seismic event. The goal of the simulation scenario is to provide to the user a comprehensive understanding of how the system behaves in case of an earthquake. Before actually defining this simulation scenario using the widget, it is important to first create the device profile of the peer sensor. 
then create the digital device of the peer sensor. Then define the behavior of the peer sensor using the rule engine. Here I am showing the enter rule chain of the peer's behavior and the main looping rule chain of the device. Then create the device profile of the simulated peer sensor and associate the peer sensor main rule chain. Finally, create the relative simulated digital device of the peer sensor. At this point, we have all the ingredients for designing our simulation. Let's create a new dashboard. and specify the digital entities that are involved using the entity alias mechanism. At this stage, it is possible to create the simulated scenario by adding a new 3D simulation widget. In the data source section, we need to specify the entity aliases involved and the relative telemetries and attributes used in the simulated scenario. In the advanced section, we create the actual scenario. This section is divided into four parts. First, the assets, where we can upload the 3D models or 2D images to be used in the simulation scene. The menu, where we can define the parameters of the simulation the script editor used to code the 3D simulation. Finally, the scene preview used to debug the simulation. Starting from the assets, we can upload the 3D models of the peer sensor. On the classroom. and of a person and the 2D images of the motion sensor a yellow color and a red color I'm going to skip the menu editor and I will begin by coding the simulation in the script editor This section provides some default scripts that cannot be removed. Setup, where you have to write the code usable to create the 3D environment. In general, it is used to load the 3D models in the scene, place the objects and code some static mechanics. This code is executed only once per simulation. For the particular scenario, I wrote this code that will first set up the physics world, then load the 3D models, then position the classroom, peers and people's model inside the virtual environment and create the physical bodies. Finally, check the collisions intersections between the physical bodies, peer and the people. 
Start is the part of code executed when you start the simulation. Here I first copy the telemetries of the real peer into the simulated digital device, then start the peer's behavior rule chain, finally set a timer of 3 seconds after which an earthquake starts. Stop is the code executed when you stop the simulation. Here I will simply stop the earthquake and the peer's behavior rule chain execution. On that update is the code invoked each time a data source changes, meaning each time a parameter, telemetry or attribute of a digital entity changes. Here you can specify for instance the code that aims to update the 3D environment based on the changed values. In this method I will load the icons previously uploaded. Based on the updated data I will update the peers icon. At this point it is possible to save. Once it is saved it is possible to launch the simulation by clicking over this button. After the simulation scenario is loaded, three buttons appear on the top. The first starts the simulation, the second stops and exits from the simulation, and the last one locks the controls. If I start the simulation, after some seconds, an earthquake begins, the people repair under the desks, and the peer sensors update the icons accordingly. Thank you for joining me in this demonstration of the 3D simulation. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us using the contact information provided in the description. Don't forget to check out the links provided in the description for more information on the extended Thingsboard.